Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I got a few more Mandela effects, but before I start this video, I would like to thank my current subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys subscribing. It means a lot to me. At least I know that even though I'm not perfect and I am getting better, that I bring some type of value or information that you guys can use in your life. That being said, this topic is about Mandela Effect. And you know what? I don't know if that's even true. I don't know if that's real. I know we, we have bad memories. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, but these are some of the things that I recollect differently from before. So the first one was, does anybody remember this potential Mandela Effect? And I say potential because there's no real way to prove it. That if you were under 18, okay, and your parents became a U.S. citizen, you automatically became a citizen. That was the consensus back then. Now, in order to become a U.S. citizen, your parents would have to had to make sure when they apply for naturalization to make sure they apply the correct paperwork that includes their underage children in order for them to also become U.S. citizens. This affected so many refugees for deportation who thought they were already citizens, but that's another topic for another time. Number two, this is conversational. This is controversial, but the consensus of the moon was always outside of Earth's atmosphere. Now, they say that the moon flies through the Earth's atmosphere. So that means, what? That is somewhat in our atmosphere? I would like to mention that when mankind landed on the moon, they never heard of James Van Allen radiation belt. Even though when it was discovered, they said it didn't affect the mission because it was not a physical barrier. I know that things change all the time in science discoveries, such as when they disclassified Pluto as a planet. But the Mandela effect here about the moon is not what I just mentioned. But before the moon does not have any effect on females, just the males. But now a full moon is said to increase a woman's sexual desires. Before the lynch mob out there gathered the pitchforks to crucify me, Know that I'm just putting my thoughts out there in the universe and this type of topic is meant for us to think outside the norm. But remember to have fun and not to be too serious and caught up in all of these conspiracies, whether they're true or untrue. Okay, one last one for now. This could be because of what I was, the way I was taught back in school. You know, just like when I was told that we had 52 states because the two Providence, Puerto Rico and Rhode Island officially became states. But we, we know that there's only 50 states in the U.S. because the rest are provinces or uh, territories, right? And I was also taught in school that in space, there is no up or down. At that time, I was living in Houston, Texas. Now, if you were to look up this fact here, it states that there is an up and down everywhere in space. That any of these, <laughs> that any of these topics relate to you guys as you the way you remembered it, or is something that you never even encountered. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hooded Dragons out.